All right, and we are back with another day of Tales of Vesperia. I guess we just need to depart uh, Zaphius. No music, nothing. Hmm. Very ominous. Oh, here they are. Morning, Yuri. Hey, Yuri, man. You're such a sleepyhead. Oh, looks like I overslept a little. My hair is a mess. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Here you go. You pulled it off. Now we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zauda. He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed. By both Intelikea and humans. I wonder why. Such an encouraging send-off. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. Alex says it's Zaude, and I'm really not in a mood to just let him go. We can't just turn back now. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. I actually agree with this. Hmm? She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success, but she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes, so I tried the same thing as Raven. Using her own life energy for power. Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I mean, you're all right. I couldn't find any other way. At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. Oh, no! So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? She's going to come with us. I, we know Estelle. She's just going to go, wait! But this is actually what she should do. No. Yeah. <laughs> Estelle! Hey! Y you're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. <laughs> what did I tell you? You'll lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. But she doesn't want a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. Knowing that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. Estelle, there are still things I can do for my friends. Well, we need a healer anyway, so this is great. So <laughs> I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you no, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. Ah, well, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. Yeah. We'll all help out to make this easy on her. We're gonna blow that scoundrel away! <laughs> Promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? I'll never forgive you if you break that promise. All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. Oh, Thank she goodness. was doing so it well. It looks like I made it in time. The twins! Oh, Prince Yoder and Flynn, too? My, what an honor for His Highness to see us off himself. There you go again with that attitude of yours. You may have already heard, but the supply of ships has been delayed, so the knights are not yet able to leave for battle. Under normal circumstances, the knights should be the ones taking the initiative here. 
But you civilians have shouldered it. As head of the Empire, I must apologize. Don't sweat it. It's not like we're doing this for the Knights or for the Empire anyway. This may be a bit presumptuous, but I would like to ask that you take Flynn in their place. Huh? Oh, we don't need him no more. We got a healer. Your Highness. At this moment, both in name and in substance, Flynn is the greatest knight in the Empire. I am sure that he will be of great use to you. Wouldn't you agree? But I... I must command the knights. As soon as the knights are ready, I will send them after you. You should be able to entrust your men with that much. Besides, are you not the one who desires most to settle things personally with Alexei? Your Highness. I, Eodor Argrios Hirasane, hereby command you on behalf of the Empire, Imperial Knight Flynn Shifo. Join forces with the Guild, Brave Vesperia, and yes. stop Alexei. Yes. For Frodo. Yes, you heard his highness. I'll be counting on you, Yuri. Uh, your cape's got a hole in it, Flynn. Even if I refused, you'd still come along, wouldn't you? So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Sauda. Okay, I need to pay attention here. <laughs> That's already been handled, right, Judy? Wait, Baal? Yes, of course. We still have that important friend of ours. Yush. Baul? Is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Yep, we'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. So everything's ready. This is it, the final no, battle. No, it is the final battle. It's the final battle. Oh, I've loved this game so much. Yush! Yush! Damn. The Determined Princess. Oh, she's probably gonna die. I really am an optimist, but... I don't see it. I don't, I don't know. Uh, advance form! Cerebral form! You're dead in the water! Put some spirit into it! Hmm? What are you up to? Well, you know how Patty switches up her fighting style in the middle of battle? We thought we might be able to do the same thing, so we asked for a lesson. I don't think that's something that can be taught. You have to be born with a style that unique. No, Yuri. You start practicing with the others. You can never know until you at least try. I'm not so sure. Nonsense! Keep a positive mental attitude. Hmm, you could be right. Here goes. Cr critical form! <laughs> we lost! Yuri, this is all your fault! Shut the hell up, Carol! Isn't <laughs> critical like that? I thought you played it cooler than that. Carol and Raven, you owe me your gels for a while. Yuri, you get a thank you kiss. Okay. You, you were betting on me? Oh, is that the Hercules? I'm trying to look on a map. What the hell is it? Probably up here. Oh, there it is. Should have saved it. So that's Zaude. It's huge. It's sort of shaped like a ring. Anybody with fingers big enough for that wouldn't have any trouble taking over the world. There's no way Alexei could fit that on his finger. I wonder if we'll get in without being seen. Whoa, look! Over there! Pharaoh. Oh, shit. What the hell? Wait! The Vesperia star! What did that just do? What? He's... 
But Pharaoh's one of the strongest in Delakea. And even he couldn't do anything to it. What did we get ourselves into? It reconstituted itself by manipulating the air. Right, okay. What processing speed? Is that the power Alexei was after? Let's go in from below. Pharaoh's doing all the work. But at least he's got Alexei looking up for now. Pharaoh, thank you. Yes, yeah, someone deserves it. Ah, oh, crap. Flynn, aren't you tired from all that fighting? It's far from enough to wear me out. Is it just me, or does combat seem to invigorate him? Like a couple other people I could name. Who? Who indeed? I didn't get as many chances to fight at the front after I rose to captain. This is an opportunity to keep myself in fighting form. Whatever excuse you come up with, you're still a fighting maniac. I... I've never been called a fighting maniac before. Yeah, meet Rita. And here I was thinking Flynn was normal. She doesn't think we're normal. Shocking, right? What sort of person did you believe me to be, Rita? Huh? Why ask now? I mean... I never would have thought you'd think one of Yuri's friends was normal. Uh, uh, yeah, you really are Yuri's type. Um, I'm right here, both of you. <laughs> a bit of sass there, Yuri. Okay, I really want. Okay, we'll just hope there's a save here. All right, here we go. The final level. Damn. Enduring Shrine of Zaude. Man, up close, this thing is bigger than I thought. Is this really one big Blastia? There's no way! It's gotta be a Hopeland Blastia designed to threaten everyone in the world! It must possess unimaginable power. Hey, look! It's a ship! Is it the Knights? No, I can't believe they'd make it here this fast. It's probably the Royal Guard. That must mean... Yep, the entrance is closely guarded. They're swarming like sea roaches! There aren't that many. We could blow them away before so they... So some of them are still them. loyal to him. Easy. We're not here to get noticed. Let's see if there isn't some other way in. All right. Here we go. Yuri, you're really good at cooking. <gasps> but I bet Carol is pretty handy around the kitchen too. Not Your cool. tongue is too loose for comfort, Flynn. Andy is dandy, but if it's not done by the cookbook, I ain't having it. You can always do it yourself, you know. You say you don't like the job, but you're pretty skilled at it. The ladies love a man who can cook. True. No way. If that were true, I'd be the coolest guy around. Seriously, it's true. Even if it doesn't make me cool, I guess I'm happy just to have other people enjoy my cooking. True. It really beats cooking and eating alone. It's nice watching a lady enjoy a good meal. I could care less about guys. <laughs> Next time I cook for you, Raven, all you're getting is a butter sandwich. Nah, spreading butter is too much work. Just give him the crusts. Damn. What happened to being happy about other people enjoying your cooking? Ruthless. All right. Okay, cool. I've still got the combo plus, yeah. Uh Oh cool. What? Gotcha. And there's my save. First time we've seen that. Oh, we're going in for the vents. 
before the big event. Sorry. Use Smash it with freeze. the rings. It's a vent. Leave it to me. Are we going to enter through here? It might not be what you're used to as a knight, but yeah. Rita, don't worry. I'm fine. Please, I'm I'm not worried. You clearly are. I... Oh, shut up. Hurry up and get that thing open. You're the only one shouting. As as always. Got it. Wonderful. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's just a puzzle. Only watch shall rain forth from the heavens when the power of creation is offered to the red stone. Right. Money seems to disappear before you know it. Yep. No, it disappears because you use it. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more. Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really? How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it. <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. <laughs> okay. All right, looks like we've got broken last year things. We've got a right and a left and a straight. Another puzzle. All right, let's go right. All right, that's not. <laughs> this is the way. There we go. What do we have? Back up there. Uh, that's got to be a trap. That has to be a trap. Okay. I mean, it's a trap, but I'm doing it. artisans are amazing they produce such lovely items in such a short time yes it really is an art the quality is always second to none too and the same artisan is always sneaking into the cities we visit just before we get there what, what? are you really? serious oh yeah i wish i had half the vitality he has we're nothing compared to how much he gets around yeah right okay there's no way he could do that really do you think it's more likely that the world's full of such skilled artisans you too, Judith? Do you really believe that? And he must have great instincts, too. We should see about getting him to join Brave Vesperia. R really C Carol, the next time we meet him, let's see if he'll join. Right! Okay! Whoa. I think those two actually fell for all that. The princess and the kids still have a lot to learn. <laughs> I hear they're actually using Blastia to do the synthesis. You know, maybe we got a little carried away. Nice! Okay. Great, give me a badass sword. Alright, we'll take a special though. Oh, bro, bloody getting dresses and robes. Ah, oh, ah, oh, come on. Yeah, it's hundred percent worth. There you go, love. Oh wow, that's not even upgrade though. Um Did I buy a new helm? Yeah.
Not worth. Not worth. That's worth. You got a rebirth ring. You got a princess's guard. Gold circlet. Where'd you get this? Okay. Um, I think I want. Oh, never mind. Uh, no, I don't. I don't like that. I'm just gonna put her. Anything that really helped her heal is the play. So, medical boost, strength to cure, spell proportional to remaining HP, strength to cure. Yeah, that's perfect. That's, that's the play. Ooh. That's pretty good as well. Do, do, do. All right, what do you have? It's all over limit stuff? Bro, that's a badass flipping weapon there. Um, honestly, this could be a play for him. it out. Alright, cool. Everyone's ready to go. Wait, what? Um, maybe I can use that pink thing now? I think we got an item. I, could, I think it was a pink item. Or, or maybe it's for that. Bro, what? Okay. But there's literally nowhere else to go. I didn't shoot it with my, uh... There we go. What the? <laughs> Bro, the speed of swimming is elite. I'd like to know one thing before we begin this battle. Just how strong is this no, it's everyone. I heard he earned his knighthood when he won a royal tournament during the previous Emperor's reign. I got to cross swords with him once, and I didn't last more than three minutes. His title is more than mere decoration. His skill puts him well above his fellow knights. He's the strongest among them, huh? And don't forget, he's surrounded by his royal guard. None of this sounds very promising. Hey, we've got De Nomos, don't we? Besides, we've been through all kinds of stuff together on this journey. Oh, it's actually Yeah, ending. we're tighter than any kind of guard, royal or not. All right, so say we handle the royal guard. It's still a coin toss in the end. I guess we'll never be too prepared when it comes to facing Alexei. Any error will likely cost lives. Right. We'll have to give it everything we've got. All right. This place seems like it's going to be a nightmare. Okay, so... 
go up here. There's a chest there. Some creepy looking ass monsters. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's so cool, his hands. Okay, that's cool. What? These things are tanky. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There's no way we're gonna lose. Oh. Okay. Nice. So oh, Pharaoh's no, been I've absorbing been air too. Is he trying to restabilize it? We owe him one for keeping the fight up this long. No, I don't think that's it. My guess is he's taking in all that air to disable Zaude's power source. That way he'll be able to mess with Alexei's plants, right? Right. Right, Judith? Who? Me? What was the question? Never mind. It'll be easy if we can just get inside. We'll stop everything in one shot. Wish it were that easy, kid. But we'll be up to our ears in traps and royal guards. Gotta admire his confidence. Do you really mean that? Pharaoh, please be okay. He's sacrificing himself. No! I would miss you, Estelle. All right. Um, I'm scared to look at this. Okay, we're good. Life bottles, where are they? Yeah, yeah, we, we cool, we cool. We could have max, but we cool, we cool. Okay, I still think we need to explore the water. Alright, I'm gonna go back and finish exploring. There we go. I've been wondering about this for a while now. What? How come the Royal Guard is so loyal to Alexei? That's true. You'd think they'd have come to their senses by now. Very good point. Well, did you know that most of the Imperial Knights are taken as apprentices from the nobility? Yeah, I wish I could forget. Well, the Royal Guard protects the Emperor, and they're made up of the finest soldiers in the Imperial Knights. Hasn't it been several years since we've had an emperor, though? Exactly. In that time, the commandants cleverly made those knights into his own personal army. It doesn't seem like that'd be enough to turn them into such little lapdogs, though. Well, the ideals he offered them were attractive in their own ways. Lead our empire to prosperity, and what have you. They were all so enamored with him, earnestly believing his every word. Fools. Even now, I imagine they believe in him. I cannot blame them for that. But if you realize what kind of person he is, Flynn, then why can't they...? The world would probably be a better place if all those guys figured out the truth on their own. <sighs> We've seen plenty of Blastia so far, but this one's in a different class altogether. If this was made at the end of the Garayo civilization, it may contain clues to all their technology. Chances are pretty good if the building we saw on that relief in Murzo is actually Zaude. So is there a connection between the Cataclysm and the Autophagos? If it does come from the end of the Garayo civilization, maybe it can turn back the Autophagos. I wonder if that's why they carved the relief. It all adds up, but I keep going back to Pharaoh's words. About disturbing Zaude? Thinking about it isn't likely to get us anywhere. We just have to go on. Okay. I'm scared to shoot this because it might raise the water. Um... But we're finished exploring. What the hell is that? All right. Do I find the right way somehow?
Oh, I guess it's a normal monster. Oh, it is. Go through. Sort of blue save. I'll take it. Hey guys. Bam, 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 bam. I actually clutch the barrier thing. That is going to do some damage. Yeah, I can't, I can't attack that. So I don't get how you chain. She learned. Brother spinning to win. Sorry, who? possible until he gets rid of that shady aura he carries around. It could be that he's only concealing his knightly dignity to complete his disguise as Raven. I don't know if he and Dignity have even been in the same room together. <laughs> Captain Schwann was a man of grace and honor. His skills were renowned, which kept him on constant secret missions. Every knight knew his name, and nearly everyone envied his ability to carry out his duties with mm -hmm. poise. Huh? Is that true? And while he was scrupulous, he knew how to care for those under him. So he always had their trust. After seeing the three of them, I can see he was well-liked. The more I hear about him, the further he seems from that old man. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not Schwan. <laughs> when did he get here? Listen to yourselves, carrying on as though nobody's around. But sometimes you do say things that Captain Schwan would. You continue to carry his quality, however quietly. Knock that off, would you? Put some respect on his name. <laughs> 